Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a pen pal folder. And I'm just starting out with some cardstock, folding one piece in half. These are eight and a half by 11 sheets. And I'm going to create a three fold folder. And you can see I'm just gluing it down. After I have it glued down, I'm going to cut that excess off on the left side. And then I'm going to set it aside and create a little watercolor painting. There is really no right or wrong way to make this folder. Um, you can get as creative as you want. I am doing a watercolor moon on some watercolor paper here to insert into the folder you will see in a little bit. I am using my Daniel Smith watercolors. Um, this particular color is Moon Glow. And I love this color so much. Um, it spreads out so nicely and you can almost see tints of blue inside of it. This color was also included in my Perfect Moon palette that I sell in my Etsy shop. And I'm just using some basic watercolor paper here. I believe it is the Canson um, XL watercolor paper. And I used my handy dandy circle maker that you all like so much to make a circle. Nothing perfect here. I just made a circle and put in some watercolor. I'm not trying to do the moon exact, just giving the impression. I am going to stamp out the word moon and that set of letters I got at Michael's, um, they snap together. So it's really nice. It keeps the letters nice and even and straight across. And here I'm taking some washi tape and just um, going over the creases of the actual folder so that it stays together a little bit better. And you can use whatever washi tape you have. Um, I'm using this particular washi tape that I believe I got from Prima Marketing. And you can see I'm just folding the paper there, um, just giving it a slight crease right now because you'll see I'll insert these other papers into the middle. I'm sorry, these papers are actually part of the pockets on the outside of the folder. And you can use, I use this tape runner. You can use good old glue. You can use a glue stick, um, whatever you like to use. Just make sure you only put glue on the three sides there because you wanna leave the one side open so that you can insert some goodies. Now I'm making the inside folders and cutting this paper, which is eight and a half by 11, cutting it right down the middle. And you can use any color you'd like. Um, I think I chose some gray cardstock that I had. 
the actual outside of the folder there, it is a charcoal gray. And then these inside folders are a lighter gray, but you could use whatever color you want. You could even use scrapbook paper that you have, um, anything that's a little bit heavier because these will hold other goodies and paper and stuff. So you want them to be a little bit sturdier. And again, just adhere the three sides because you're making a pocket to insert things into. So and now I'm just going to put some more washi tape on the edge and line it up with that first crease and then tape it down. And put some on the back as well. And I really make a point to crease it, crease the washi along the edge of the other, the paper, so that it sticks nicely. And then you can trim off the edge of the washi tape so it doesn't hang over and annoy you, because it annoys me. <laughs> and here I'm using some vellum to make an additional folder that will go in the middle. And you can use whatever you'd like. I chose vellum because it's see-through and it adds a little dimension to the folder. So you could use different scrapbook paper or you could actually use vellum if you have it. And again, just adhering it the three sides because this will also be a pocket that you'll insert. I'm not fantastic at measuring things, so as you can see, I was just kind of lining the paper up to the other part of the folder that I did, and then marking it with a pencil and cutting it. But if you wanted to get specific, you could measure. <laughs> Now I'm going to insert the little watercolor painting I did um, in the middle of the two folders. Make sure it's dry before you do that, obviously. And I'm adhering both sides again with some washi tape and giving it a good crease and then trimming. There I'm adding the second folder that we just made with the vellum and doing the same, adding the washi to both sides. And you could actually add as many folders as your paper would hold. If you use a thicker cardstock for the outside shell of the folder, it might be able to hold uh, more folders if you chose or you could just add one. It's completely up to you. Get creative with it. It's a lot of fun. So this is why I kind of only gave the outside a soft fold, I guess you would call it, because I wanted to make sure that I got all my folders and the extra um, watercolor painting in there and when you fold that right outside flap, you need to leave a little bit of room because it can get bulky right at the edge. So I waited to give it a hard crease until I had all the folders on the inside. This is a pocket I'm making for um, photos. And I actually just printed those photos off from 
unsplash and possibly some stock photography and I just included those in the photo flap there but if you had actual photos you could put those in there I'm just writing a little note on the back of my watercolor drawing to my pen pal and now here's the fun part getting to add all the little bits and pieces inside of your folder um, I just choose like random things that I have obviously it's a lot of the stuff that I carry in my shop but because I have so much of it you can really customize this to be whatever you want it's fun to just put some random bits and pieces in there for your pen pail to use and really this doesn't have to be something for a pen pail either you could make a little folder for yourself to hold your stickers or hold notes or whatever you want really it could even be a fun little card I would keep it simple though adding paper into some of the pockets you don't want to overload it because it will get bulky and if you plan on sending it in the mail you don't want it too heavy paper can get really heavy so there once you've stuffed your little folders you can really give that end a crease a really nice um, sharp edge and then you can decorate the front um, put a couple pieces of scrapbook paper or some ephemera some stickers I use whatever I have extra and whatever is laying around Sometimes you just have to play around with what you've got to try and make something look right. Now I'm just making some circles with my um, Sparkle Pop Pentel pen that is silver color and making some circles just decorating the front a little bit. And I'm tying this string around it to keep it closed. And you could do a lot of different things here. You could just close it with a piece of washi. You could add a little dot of glue and close it if you wanted. You could close it with a sticker. Like I said, get creative and just use what you have you know I got this really cool wax seal I designed it and sent it away to be made and I love it so if you have a wax seal you could do this but you don't have to and there's my pen pail folder thank you so much for watching